our other top story. Any moment now, the FDA could move to approve the first COVID-19 vaccine in the United States. Of course, this following a day long meeting with an FDA advisory board and Pfizer. We've been watching it closely for you. That discussion partially focused on record timing in creating this vaccine. It is monumental pace. Fox 59's Darius Johnson, he's been following this hearing all day long. And Darius, yes, a monumental day. What else have you been hearing today? Hey there, Fanchin. Good evening. You know, the previous record set in creating a vaccine was four years, and that was for months. This time around, we're talking about nine months since the virus began to wrap up in the United States. But the fast track to the vaccine is causing some of you to question whether or not you'd be vaccinated. Now, according to Pfizer, there were more than 43,000 participants in phase three of the clinical trial. Only six of the participants died. One was obese and had other health issues to other Others died of heart attack or stroke. Three of those who died were under the age of 55, but it is unknown if those individuals were given the vaccine or the placebo. But within that trial, there was an efficacy rate of more than 90%. Pfizer says by working with the FB, FDA rather and other regulators in planning clinical development, they were able to conduct multiple processes at once, creating a vaccine faster than ever before. Instead of waiting, for preclinical and clinical data to emerge, substantial efforts and resources were poured into process development and manufacturing scale-up well before any clinical data were available. This has been an unprecedented investment early in development. Now, within those clinical trials, researchers broke down the side effects seven days after the first and second doses by age groups, 16 to 55 and 55 and older. You should be able to see some of those charts on your screen. Those between the ages of 16 and 55 experience more side effects than those over the age of 55. They say they experience more pain at the site of the injection and more people experienced headache and fatigue. Now, right now, they are still in those phases of voting. They just returned from a break probably within the last 10 minutes. I am keeping tabs on that and I will bring you that information as soon as we know the answer coming up live at five live in the newsroom this evening. I'm Darius Johnson, Fox 59 News.